What do you need to guarantee that you pass your interview? You need to have a TESOL. You need to upload your TESOL. Even if you have a bachelor's degree, TESOL, TEFL, or CELTA. Okay, props. You need to have some kind of props. If you have kids, borrow some toys, a monkey, flashcards, draw flashcards. One girl didn't have a printer. I said, you can, can just make one up. She used nail polish. She's amazing. Background. You need to have some kind of kid-friendly background. You can just use a tablecloth, a plastic tablecloth from Dollar Tree. <laughs> you need to be active. Imagine you're teaching a class full of kids and you're, it's your kid's TV show. That's how active you need to be. You need to have good lighting and sound. The students need to be able to hear you and see you clearly. If you have lamps, try to have one on either side of you and this will really help improve the look. You need to practice, 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 practice. Time yourself, record yourself and play it back and critique yourself and see what can you do better on the next one. Allow yourself enough time to prepare and speak clearly and slowly with as little words as possible. So imagine it is a child who does not speak any English. Read all the notes that explain the interview to you. Most of your questions will be answered there, but I am here. If you have any questions, please let me know. You need to show you know all of the features of the app. Go into my YouTube video and have a look. When to use the face filters. There are four that you might choose. So there's cat, fish, dog, monkey. You want to at least use those four face filters. I have a YouTube video that shows an example class that will help you. Even though the slides may not be the same as when you do your interview, it's the same vocabulary that we're teaching. Eyes, nose, mouth, monkey. And this will still help you. So please let me know if you have any more questions. Be active, have fun, and you will be fine. Talk to you soon. So let's look at how we go into practice for your interview. You'll want to go in to your appointments tab and when you click in there it will open up to your schedule such as this and it will have the green enter button. This is a picture to show but I'm covering for the privacy of my students. So when we click on the green enter button, this is what it will look like. Let's go into Palfish and here is the Palfish actual classroom. So I can turn on my camera here by tapping my avatar and clicking on open camera. I've set mine, hi, <laughs> I've set mine in my settings to be automatically off until 30 seconds before class starts. So you can find that under the me tab in the gear wheel settings in the top and it will say official default camera you want it to be gray not green so that's your first tip so this is the beginning slide that you will see for your interview this is where you will introduce yourself as if you are speaking to an adult hi my name is Christy I'm from Australia I like to use colorful props in my classroom such as stuffed animals and flashcards to make it friendly and inviting. So this is something that you could do to introduce yourself just for 30 seconds at the beginning of your interview. Then you can just say, I will start. And then you can start as if you're about to start your class. This will be the page where you need to demonstrate that you can instruct the student how to circle the monkey or to draw a circle on the screen. So even though this is your interview class, this is an actual trial class that you will teach with Palfish. So you want to learn how to do this because you'll be doing it in real life. So some people choose to have a second device with them. I've done this in the past. And if a student doesn't understand the first time, you could try to demonstrate to circle on a second device like this to show them. Or you could just ask, hmm circle. You could draw. Circle. Mm. Circle. Circle. Ooh. Circle the monkey. And you could ask them this way. Now over here you have your tools. If you're on a phone they will be underneath your avatar here but I'm on an iPad so they're on the right. They're the same tools. So we have the little broom to clear away your screen. 
then you have your zoom in tool. Let's take a look at that. Now you'll notice when I press the zoom in tool, the pencil button is grayed out. So this is a toggle. You can either have one or the other, not both at the same time. So if you have your pen turned on, you can click it and you can choose a different color. Then you tap it again for the color chart to go away. But if you want the zoom in tool, you need to press the zoom in tool and then you can use this by pinching the screen. So let's do that. We're going to pinch the screen just like you were looking at a picture on a phone. So you could zoom in if you want to. Now this is in Chinese so that the parents, if they go in before the trial, they can have a talk with the student and read it to them and help them understand. So even though there are five commands here that the student needs to learn, you only need to demonstrate number one. Okay, so we're going to clear away what I've written on the screen. So that is our zoom in tool. When we press this button here, we're going to zoom in and out like this. Okay, so to have the pen back on, we want to click on the pen so that we can circle the monkey. So you could, of course, introduce yourself to the student first. Hello, my name is Christy. What is your name? If you're wearing a shirt with your name on it, you could say name. My name is Christy. My name is here, so I can do it here, or sometimes I have a different shirt on that has it on my shirt. And you could ask, what is your name? And if they don't respond straight away, you could say, my name is <laughs> you could demonstrate with a toy. <gasps> Hello, my name is Christy. What is your name? My name is Tiger. The students don't know that this is Tigger, so he is just referred to as Tiger in class to make it less confusing. So some toys, are uh, you need to really translate it to just be literal. This is a tiger. <laughs> so you could demonstrate that way. My name is Tiger. Or if you have another toy that you've given it a name, you could introduce your toy. So that is another example. So we want the student to circle. In your interview, of course, there's no student there. So you would just pretend yourself that you are the student drawing on the screen. <gasps> Yay! Congratulations! Woohoo! Good job! Yes, yes, yes. Whichever you choose to do is fine. Yes. Okay. Good job. Very good. And how? I don't speak Chinese, but I've learned a couple of words, so I'm sorry if the tones aren't correct there. So this is the main thing that we want to start off our interview with. So we're going to use the tools. We're going to have a look at the face filters, AR filters. So AR means augmented reality. I uh, didn't realize not everybody knew that. So let's zoom back in just out of interest. Yes, see, so you know that you don't have your zoom in tool if you start drawing all over the screen when you're trying to pinch the screen. <laughs> so you can just clear the screen with your broom tool and uh, click back on your zoom tool and it will come up there. So if the, if the buttons for the colors are still there, that's fine. You can still zoom in and that will go away. You can just click again twice on the pen button for it to go away. So down the bottom here, we have our face filters. Not all the students like them. So what I like to do is I introduce the vocabulary word if we're teaching nose, nose, n, n, nose. And then you would introduce whichever face filter. So here are, you can see on my screen recording, some of the filters I have not yet downloaded. See if it has a little arrow. This means you need to download it. It only takes a second. So if I press on that now, <gasps> hi, I am an animal. But some of them, I don't really know what they are. It looks like a pigtail, but I'm really not sure. So it doesn't take long to load, but it's best to have them ready to go before you do your interview, at least the ones that you want to show. You do not need to use every single one. You just want to choose the main points, which are cat, dog, fish, monkey. Now there are two fish, I will show you. So this one here seems to look like a dog. It looks like a bear to us on the screen, but the kids think it's a dog. 
So you could use that one as a dog. There's also this little one here. This one looks like a little dog. And they've also added one with glasses. So I like this cute little Dalmatian, a dog with glasses. Then we have the cat. It's the first one, so that's easy. The cat, dog. Now let's look for fish. Now we have this blue one, even though it looks like a whale. There's fish swimming. I like to use this one for let's act, blow bubbles. Because there are bubbles. Some of the kids like to eat the fish. Ah, ah, and that's okay. The Chinese culture is very literal in what they eat. So they might think it's food to eat. And that's okay to have fun that way too. But there's also this one, the big orange one. It goes over your entire face. So this is the Powfish logo. His name is Freddy, but the students don't know his name is Freddy. They just think his name is Palfish. So some of the students will ask for Palfish. They want the Palfish. And then there is also the, the blue fish. So if the student doesn't like this one on their head, and if they don't like this one, just turn it off. Say, that's okay. We don't have to be forcing them if they're not enjoying the show. So that's for fish. Then we have the monkey. Now there are two for monkey. There's this one here, the big one. It goes all the way over your face. And a lot of the kids don't like it. If they're not familiar with electronics and they're going like this and you can see them, they're freaking out and they're trying to scrape it off their face, just turn it off. But there's also this other one that's a little bit less intrusive down here next to the hippo. It's like a monkey like mask. So you could try that one. And we also have food if you happen to be doing talking about food or doing the fruit trial in the future. They're right down the bottom. So that will help you just with the main filters that you want to use. To turn it off, you come up here to turn it off and press this one with the big X through it, uh, the line through. And then to close these face filters, you can either press the X or you can just tap anywhere up here and it will go away. Down here is a chat box, this one here, uh, but it's you won't really be using that in the trial class. Most of the students don't know that it's there. And these are your star rewards. Now, in the trial, you're expected to give five stars. The lesson goes about 25 minutes, so you want to give one about every five minutes. But I try to give it for an actual reason, not just because it's five minutes. So wait till they've done something great and give them a star. Now, when you're in your interview, it won't work because there's no student in the lesson. So if I press it, it will tell me student is offline and that's okay. So if you have any stars or anything that you want to just, I for my interview, I just held my star up to the screen. You can give that a try. And then up here we have a timer, which you won't be using in your interview, which as we can see now, it doesn't work anyway. So some of the features don't work. If you have an issue during your class, when you're actually doing a class, you can press the report button and it will give you some things that you can choose to let the Palfish team know that there's a problem. But in your interview, there shouldn't be a problem because it's only internet from your side that would be the issue. So really, it's a good idea to reset your router, your internet, your device, all three, before you start your interview to make sure nothing is going to go wrong. That will give you the best chance. Make sure you have enough space available on your device so clear out any old photos and videos to allow the phone enough space to make sure that it works correctly. So that will give you a little bit of an idea. When you finish your interview, you press this X button. Now, it will just take you to the next page of your interview process, which will tell you that your certificate needs to be verified and they will look at your interview and you'll hear back within two business days. So if you think, oh no, where is it? Where do I find it? So let's have a look. Uh, if you are practicing in your interview, you can come in at any time during uh, leading up to your interview. And once your interview starts up here, it will start counting in whole minutes. But this is going to tell you when your class is going to start in how many minutes. So let's press the X button. And I will say goodbye from here, but you will still hear my voice. 
and we're going to click here. Now here's a point, when you're in your interview, if you do your lesson for less than 25 minutes, the notes for your interview actually say 15 to 25 minutes, somewhere in that range is fine to be accepted, as long as you can show a beginning, a middle and an ending to show your teaching style. But the best that I recommend is to try to do the 25 minutes because that's how you'll actually do a real class. When you are um, accepted and you've passed your interview, your, your trial classes will be expected to be 25 minutes to be paid. Your first two classes are probationary unpaid training classes for them to also review and give you written feedback. But after that, you must teach 25 minutes to be paid. But if you want to leave your interview and it's like 24 and a half minutes, that's okay. If you get a message that says you need to prolong your teaching because you won't get paid if you haven't taught 25 minutes only for your interview, it's okay to exit and say that's okay. But if you leave in a real class before the 25 minutes, you will not be paid, just to make that clear. So let's click the OK button. We know we've finished. Now say you want to, we'll go back to our home page now by sliding to the right. If you want to see where your interview is, you can either find it up here in your teaching hours. You can click on there and it will show you your class recordings. Let's have a look in there. You will see the audio recording, the video replay and the slides from the lesson. And you can also find it in your Me tab. Click on Me and under My Recordings, under the All tab. The third way to find your interview replay, let's click on the Home button down here is to click under the students tab. So this will be your first class if you haven't been doing free talk previously. So it should be the first student that you see listed here. You can click on the records button and it will give you three buttons. It'll say recording, it'll say record. This is the voice recording only. Replay is the video recording and pick is the picture slides, the actual slides themselves. The replay video replay may not come up for five to six hours afterwards and then you can go back in and have a look at that. So I hope that's been helpful for you today to have a look at what it's like to be in a classroom. All the best for your interview. Have a look at my YouTube videos for an actual recording of a class and how to use the face filters and engage the student and the parents. This one resulted in a sale, so it's a great example. Leave me a thumbs up if this has been helpful for you. Forward it to a friend. Consider subscribing and clicking the bell to be notified the next time I post a video. If you have any messages, questions, let me know and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And I will see you in the next video.